look at how Jesus was welcomed into Jerusalem. How he entered Jerusalem and he entered Jerusalem every year at least once. But this time was different. This time was different. He was being called the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He was called the son of David. And some people were lying before him. The branch of a tree. And some other people were lying before him their own garments, their own clothes. Listen to this. For Jesus to enter your life, he has to enter your life like he entered Jerusalem. For him to enter, for him to dwell inside of you, your welcome to him has to be like the welcome of the people in Jerusalem welcoming him. And when I say it has to be like this, I don't mean just with the branch. I don't mean just with this or that. I mean to make him the king over your life. To make him the ruler over your life. Jesus will not come into your life. He will not come into my life to be one more voice among many others. Because that's how people, they treat God nowadays. One more voice among many other voices. They treat God as one more word among millions of words spoken to them, against them every single day. One more voice, one more advice. God, He does not come to give us an advice. He does not come to, to associate with us and to be one more voice in our lives. He comes to be the voice. He enters to be the king. He enters in your life only if you welcome Him to be the main voice in your life. For His will to be sovereign over your own will. And when you receive Jesus... Like that. Let us go and see what the Bible says in John. It says like this. He was in the world. And the world was made through him. And the world did not know him. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him. But as many as received him. Listen, as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name. Some people say, no, everyone is a child of God. The Bible does not say that everyone is a child of God. The Bible says, to those who received him and believe in his name to them to them only to them he gave the power to become children of god now do you want to be a child of god yeah. obviously the answer will be yes, yes. i want to be a child of god i want to be saved i want to guarantee that when my flesh my blood goes from this world my soul will be with god everybody wants that but how many people willing to sacrifice their will? How many people willing to sacrifice their desire to make God's will, God's desire, the reigning desire, the reigning will, the reigning voice in their lives? Because if you do not welcome Him to be the King, He will not come to be your servant. He is God. He is King. He is to be served and not to serve. And that's how you have to see him and come to him as the voice that will stand against every other. Is the one whose will will be sovereign over yours 
and over anybody else's. That's God. That's our God. And if you welcome him like that, then he will enter. You will receive him. And then you will have the right to become a child of God. Otherwise, you are going to live and die as a creation. Nothing more, nothing less. Creation, a creation of God does not have salvation unless that creation becomes a child of His. Become a child of God. Friends, hear, listen, understand. If I am a child of God, I will forgive those who sin against me because I resemble Him. On the cross, He was beaten, heavily beaten with a whip, heavily beaten with a whip. He was nailed. You cut yourself, and if the cut is deep, you cry of pain. Imagine nails going through your hand and feet. And when he was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. So why should we keep a grudge when someone offends us? Why should we keep a hard feeling when somebody comes against you and says something bad about you to others? Let it go. Let it go. Jesus on the cross said, forgive them. So if we are children of God, we resemble him. We let go. If we are children of God, we are faithful to God as he was. And that's what God expects from me and from you. Whoever you are, wherever you are watching us from, it's important to understand the days. Palm Sunday is not only a day you come to church with a palm leaf and then you go and come back next time, I don't know when. But you have to understand, if you do not welcome Jesus as the king of your life, he will not enter. And no matter what you say, you can say everyone is a child of God. As much as you want, does not change the fact that only those who receive him, who believe in his name, only them, only to them, the right is given to become a child of God. No matter what I say, no matter what you say, the word of God will always trump over mine and over yours. You want to be a child of God? Yes. yes, the answer will always be yes. Everybody wants. So receive him in you as the ruling voice of your life. So you can receive the power, the right to become a child of God. Amen. Amen. And that's good news. That's good news. Because some people say, Pastor, what do I have to do? Do I have to cut myself? No. Do I have to laugh all the time? No. In the, it's kind of strange, huh? If you look at somebody all the time, <laughs> it's weird. You're going to keep away from that person. That's not it. That's not it. You obey what he says. You follow what the Bible says. You receive him as the king. And then you have the right. You have the right to become his child. All right.